In this video, we're going to look at equivalent fractions and showing how to do this using tape diagrams. So equivalent fractions are fractions that are the same amount but have different numbers representing them. For example, 1 half is equal to 4 eighths. And 2 thirds is equal to 4 sixths. Okay. So, again, at some point in our education, we've learned this, but how are you going to first introduce this concept? Okay, so tape diagrams, again, are a great stepping stone in Common Core. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a tape diagram, okay, and we're going to cut it in two and shade one. So this is representing one half. Okay, now. What we'd like to do is we'd like to take this same exact shape, but now cut it into a denominator of eight. Okay, so if you think about it, maybe this is the problem that we're asking. One half is equal to how many with a denominator of eight? Okay, so I'm gonna come in here, and this is our shaded region, right? Okay, but I want this to not be in two pieces, but eight pieces, so I'm gonna come in Okay, now it's in four pieces. Now it's in eight pieces. So the equivalent to one half is the same thing as four eighths. All right, let's try it again over here. So again, we know what our answer should be that two thirds should equal four six, but we're gonna try it with tape diagrams. So we're gonna start off drawing two thirds. All right, so there's thirds, and we're gonna shade two of them. So there we go, that's two thirds. Now I wanna know what would be the equivalent if we took that same shape but divided it into six. Okay, so there's my two thirds. Let's see, to divide this into six equal chunks, I'd have to come along and break that, and that, and that, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, perfect. Just to make it clearer, and also to make it clear, having them up and down is a great way to show, to make sure that they agree with this. So two thirds is the same thing as four sixths. All right, so we could come back up here, answer it, and say four. Cool. Keep practicing with equivalent fractions using tape diagrams. Pretty simple. You could use multiple colors if you wanted. You could use different shapes. Um, but honestly, tape diagrams are the easiest way to partition. All right, good luck.